Where I'm headed, that's about as low as the sun is going to get. Hammerfest, Norway. Some 1,500 miles north of Oslo. To get there, you take a jet, then this prop job, deep into the Arctic Circle. Hammerfest was once a tiny fishing village. Downtown, there's a polar bear theme going, but the bears don't come around here. Reindeer, yes. Polar bears, no. By the way, right now it's midnight, one day before summer solstice. Hammerfest isn't so tiny anymore. About 8,000 people now live here, thanks to what they found under the sea, oil and natural gas. Norway built this liquefied natural gas plant in 2002 on the outskirts of town. Hammerfest has been living large since. This is its new mall, built with tax revenues from the gas plant. Ulf Oler Baglum owns the wine store. Yeah, before uh, in in 1990s, in in start of uh, starting of 2000, uh, things were going down here in uh, in the city. People are uh, moving to other countries, under other uh, places of Norway. So uh, when the oil and gas they they committed it, it shall be, then people get the optimism to back again. And a lot of uh, new uh, industries are starts and new. Uh, stores, so it's very good for the community. Check out Hammerfest's new cultural center. It's got exhibition halls, classrooms, a movie theater, a stage. When I swung through, there was no one in it, but I'm sure on the weekends it's packed. The building fest here continues. Workers are putting heating coils under the new Main Street to keep it from icing over in winter. The winter, when for two months not one ray of sunlight reaches these shores. Extreme climates aside, life is good in Hammerfest, and residents hope it will only get better, because Norway plans to expand drilling for oil and gas in the North and Barents Seas. To townspeople's dismay, there's currently a moratorium on new licenses for drilling, as experts figure out what went wrong with BP's operation in the Gulf of Mexico. But most expect the moratorium will last just a few months. Then the exploration can start, and people here expect the jobs will start rolling in. Or will they? Truls Dulofsson of Greenpeace Norway says small towns like Hammerfest could put their coastlines at risk for nothing. He cites a study that says only two to 4,000 jobs will be created in total with new drilling, and most of those will be in bigger towns farther from the action. So all these small communities that are now believing that they'll get lots of new jobs and lots of new development just if they give away their environmental concerns, the fisheries, and their areas, they will be extremely disappointed if this happens. Everyone knows there are risks, especially in light of the Gulf spill, but the money and Norway's relatively good offshore safety record keep fear at bay, unless you're Roll Stionsson. Roll is Hammerfest's harbor master. He's in charge of cleanup if an accident should happen. He says he's got equipment to contain a small spill. Well, I think we are very good for the, for the situations we are supposed to handle. Uh, but if we get a bigger event, uh, we have to leave that to the governmental uh, operation. Uh, I think the oil companies uh, should uh, contribute more to the established Oil companies say they spend a lot already, but no matter how much they spend, protecting this rocky, often rough shoreline in the event of a big spill will be next to impossible.